Welcome to the Grace Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. Uh, TNT. Yo. I'm not trying to violate HIPAA. Oh. But I but I know that you've had COVID. Not, <laughs> yeah, baby. Let's get let's get I it mean, out there. I've had COVID. We've talked about it on the podcast. Yeah, so, ladies. If you're messing with me, you know I got the you got the C O V. Excuse me. C O V I D. Whoa, baby. That was C O V. You know yeah. me. Um. Anyways, so you know. How long did you have it, would you say? Like, how long were you affected by the virus? Okay, so I will not sit up here and lie, Jonas. Uh, let's just be honest on this podcast. I've had it a couple times now. Yeah, the I've had first it a time times. was by far the worst. Me too. It was, it was like, seriously, like, uh, the first three days were absolutely insane. Thought I was dying. Yeah. Yep. And then after that, it tapered off nicely. Still and sucked I, pretty bad for the first week. Yeah. And then, like, the second time I had it, it wasn't so bad. Um, yeah, same. Second time, it wasn't so bad. But I was glad to have the seven days off of work. Yeah. Like, I, the second time I had it, I thought I had allergies. I was going to go into the office and test it myself. And I was like, oh, I guess I have COVID. I was fine the whole week. Third time, I was pretty sick again. But not as bad yeah, as the first. Yeah. So, yeah. I would have to say is that that first COVID, the first wave was crazy. Like, like people were not being insane for taking that seriously that yeah. shit was crazy well so the reason i bring this up go ahead is uh you know some people have you know long covid mm -hmm. that, you know effects last a while some people have had infections that last a long time there are definitely some after effects that are forever that we need to take seriously so the person who had the longest running bout of covid yikes passed away finally yikes there was a 72-year-old man. He, also, he, he had a blood disorder. Okay. So, like, he wasn't able to amount, like, a strong um, yeah, yeah, yeah. reaction to the drug. So Immunodeficiency. Yeah, exactly. So, he ended up he ended up having 50 mutations of the virus. What the hell does it, that even it, mean? it kept mutating inside yeah, of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had, when he died, he, was, he had the Omicron variant. He, Yikes. He tested positive for 613 days in a row that's insane and then he fucking died bro so he got covid in february of 22 what and then he died 613 days later so his the last 600 days of his life was battling covid and then he fucking died uh, isn't that insane like Dude, I I went ten days and I felt I was like I was isolated and felt awful. This dude, six hundred and fifteen, thirteen days of COVID, and he's seventy two on top of it. So he's already like old. You know, he's an older dude already. Well, my condolences and my heart goes out to the family members that lost their loved one to uh to such a uh, a, a vicious disorder, this vicious disease. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. Well. It? In, I think this comment on Reddit, the first Yikes. comment, you know, like the most pop, one of the pop, most popular comments is always like one of yeah, like yeah, the, the yeah, hot, yeah. hottest takes. Yeah, give it to me. He says, this is how modern medicine can sometimes bite us in the ass. Yep. Instead of this person succumbing to the illness immediately, he was, was kept thinking. alive long enough and fed drugs that allowed the virus to mutate and get stronger within him like a human Petri dish. Oh, this is exactly what I was thinking. I was trying to think of a tactful way to approach it. Like I had no, there was no, I, there was no joke I could make. Yeah, there's not a joke. That is the, that's the comment. That is the, they, exactly they what I They kept him saying. alive so it could just get worse. Oh, because I'm like, I'm like, how do I, I, I was like, I can't joke about this. <laughs> how do well, I right, say right, that? Right, 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 yeah. How do I say <clears throat> in a tactful way that honestly, they probably should have let him go so he didn't suffer as much and uh, so that the the, the 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 virus didn't, or the uh, the bacteria virus, whatever it is, didn't mutate to the point where it could be like more a super. He had super COVID exactly, at the end. Exactly, man. It was sitting in his body, adapting, learning. Like, yeah, you killed off the weak ones. The strong ones are left. It's like when you don't take anti. It's like when you get a cold and they give you antibiotics, and you only take like three days, and then you end up twice as sick as you were before. Like that absolutely happened to me when I was younger. Because when you're a younger kid, you don't take that shit seriously. Like it's because you kill off all the weak, the weak stuff first, and then the, then you let the strong stuff rebuild and rebreed, and then you're like, oh, and now I'm real sick. Exactly. It's 
Yeah. And that's not to say is that the the facility, whichever facility that was, was not taking the proper protocol to isolate that bacteria so that it would not uh, potentially spread to the, the greater community. But it is a chance, but the human life will always supersede any of that. And I agree with that to a certain extent. Yeah, I, man, do. I do. I do. I do. I yeah. Know. Have you ever had like an extended illness where you were like sick for like a month? Like people get mono and they're sick for like months. Like have you ever had anything like that happen? No, I've been lucky enough to be relatively healthy. Um, you, you like you've seen me at my probably my worst. Oh illness. yeah, that like, one time when you were you were pretty sick. Yeah, where yeah. I actually had to like go to the ER. You've seen me at my as. That's probably my worst. Other than, um, yeah, I don't know. Like, the COVID was pretty bad, but y'all, you didn't see me. I was in my room. <laughs> like, no, I was yeah. in, and when yeah. I had it, I was in my room. Yeah, so yeah, exactly. I was pretty me. bad then. Yeah, um, so, yeah. But, yeah, yeah no, I, uh, when I was younger, I used to get a really bad pneumonia a lot, like, and I would be in the hospital for, like, a week, like, when I was, like, grade school age, like, in the fall and spring, usually a week because of, uh, you know, stuff. But that, like, it was... I've never had like yeah like mono or like some like disease that just went on forever. Yeah, honestly, um, since I moved south, I've had so few problems with because I used to get like seasonal pneumonia. Yeah, yeah. Where I would get it every year, living up in uh in Cleveland, Ohio, obviously. Yeah, probably the humidity and stuff. In exactly. The air. Yeah. I would get seasonal pneumonia where it was like almost every year, if not every year. I would get like that same way where you see me at my worst, where it was like I need to go to the ER because I can't breathe. That ish happened frequently up north, but since I moved south, it's been relatively. Uh, yeah, you'd probably do well in the desert because there's like it's so dry. There's like no water, you know. Like I, f I feel like I breathe great in the desert. Like we, like we went to Vegas, and like when I've been out there before, I'm like Phoenix and stuff. I'm like, oh man, I'm like I can, I can breathe out here. That's why I'm, I'm very open to going to California because I would love to see what even like even more drier. Well, California is a little different, but. Because it's still humid. It never rains in Southern California. Sometimes it does, though. I mean, there's humidity there. I mean, but... Yeah, it's more like... Uh, would you say that Tex that where we stay at now in Texas, Austin, Texas, is less humid or less humid than... Uh, more more humid or less humid? Less than, humid. Less? Okay. I'd say. Yeah, because... Well, California also is like on... The entire state borders the ocean, so there's more humidity there. But it doesn't get very hot. So it's more like... It's more like... Uh, Ohio humid where it's like 75 but it's 100% humidity so it's just miserable but not hot and you're still sweating for some oh, reason Oh, so like that Florida humidity well yeah but it's not that hot it's like Ohio where it'll be like where it'll be like oh it's only 75 degrees but why am I sweating my ass off because it's just it's just muggy like but California it's always cool it's, it's like 75 degrees every day it's like it's beautiful but it's a little bit humid like here, if you live on the coast by Houston, it's hot and humid, which is like Florida. But here we're in Austin, we're a little bit back from the land. So it's people like I have a buddy uh, who I play volleyball with from Arizona. And he talks about how humid it is here. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, bro, it is not humid in Austin. <laughs> like com no. compared to Houston and Cleveland, bro. But for him, he grew up in the damn desert. It's humid as shit here for him. You know Bro, what I mean? Compared to Florida, man. Yeah, exactly. Like I said, I lived in Florida for like I lived in Florida for five years. That shit is crazy. It's insane. It is insane how people just are like, yeah, we're sweating all the time. And yeah. that's just their lifestyle. Dude, I can't I hated it in Ohio. Like you get out of the shower and like you just can't dry off. And then you try to get dressed and you're still not dry. And then like you're wet. You walk out the door, get in the car, you're still wet. wet, still. Then you start sweating, and then it's, and then you're all day. Your clothes are just damp. I hate. Oh, yeah. Oh well, my god, it makes me want to gag just thinking about it. Ohio makes me wet too, <laughs> for different reasons. <laughs> just thinking about it. Oh, it's a yeah. good state, man. I don't care what anybody says. I love Ohio. I miss it. I like Ohio too. If it wasn't, I'm not know, going back, but I do miss it. I the only you know the only thing I thought about mm -hmm. about going back there yeah was like maybe when i'm like older and don't want to like do things anymore like not i'm interested in like living in a city like austin where there's stuff to do all the time and i want to get a, i want to get a house when i'm done when i'm done living life <laughs> essentially when i've decided to give up <laughs> right i can go there and get <laughs> 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 and 
and get and get a lot a lot more house and property than I can get in Texas for the same amount You're of money. You're not wrong though. For two hundred thousand dollars in Ohio, the area we grew up in, yo, I could get acres of land and a three thousand square foot house. Have you given up on life? <laughs> Moved at Moved Ohio. Ohio. I mean, that's kind of what people think anyway. We've given up to. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm going to live in, in Chardon. Like, <laughs> ah, you've definitely given up. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> You've like, given up if you live in Chardon. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to live in Akron. <laughs> ah, you're done. Yeah. Complete li life life achievement complete. You it, gave up. Yeah. Good job. Turn yeah, off the game. Like, ding Giving up on life. 40 points. <laughs> so, anywho. Uh, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out.